So here we're back at the stationery store again and I'm just looking around and I saw this little sketchbook here. It's so tiny and cute. I was going to get it but then I was like, mm, I already have a lot of sketchbooks so I didn't. And here are some more items and I'll let you guys enjoy the rest. Now we are at Powell's. Here is a whole lot of notebooks. Um, there are also sketchbooks here like these ones. And overall there's just a huge selection of notebooks. We have I think two full rows just specifically for notebooks. And then a few other selections here and there around Powell's. But yeah, look at all these beautiful notebooks. I wanted to get one but I really didn't need one. And my goal for coming to Palace was to buy mangas, but I didn't end up getting anything. Maybe someone will fall in love with him. And after a lot of walking, I took a rest here at the benches. But then, when it was time to leave, I headed off, and then all of a sudden, I saw this really cute shop that I had passed by before going to Pals, and I really wanted to check it out, so I ended up going in. because Joe likes front shots and she also likes ceramics the ceramics everyone there being awards maybe the birds will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Dream. 
pretty late in the day but I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on I haven't updated you guys in a while so right now well not right now but I just finished my book a little while ago these are just the I guess sketches or they're called roughs so it has um it's just like sketches and then also with toning so i just finished that this is a book that i'm making so there's that just that part of my homework and then so this is just goes in here okay that's what we've been working in class the picture book okay, i just got another art creation sketchbook because i'm almost done with my other one I'll probably finish it like um, in November, that first week of November. So I got another one. Got this one at Blix. And then let's get this out of the way. I was going to do some sketching to today, but I was kind of just wiped out and I didn't want to do that. Um, but here's some things that we caught the other day at um, the stationery store. We got this beautiful dipping pen and we're gonna we're gonna um unwrap that in a bit and then i also got this what is it called i can't think right now my brain's not working it's late what are these called these are <laughs> i don't know what these are called uh pencil extenders that's what these are called i've been running on coffee yet. The handheld one even though you know it has a cup apartment to put the shavings in the shavings still come out out of somewhere i guess and it just still ends up getting on my desk or in my backpack or on my hands so that's why i like this one anyways to do all the heavy lifting or all the heavy sharpening i guess i have this bad boy right here and i got this off of amazon um there was great reviews, five stars only, which is crazy. You never see that on Amazon. So here's a sharper, and I got the, I got um, the black one, and I guess we're gonna open it together. sharpener i don't think there's any instructions needed but let's open it to see what is going on here uh, <clears throat> let's read mm -hmm. let's plug it in oh let's plug it in I guess it's on. I don't know. Let's check. Let's take a dull color pencil. We'll do a sharp. Okay. Nothing's working. Is it on? Did I do it right? Oh. Hold on. <gasps> wow, look at that. 
It's really sharp. It's a nice point too. Let me show you guys. Ta-da! Look at that! That's a really sharp point. Let's try this side. Wow, a little bit more. Wow, that's so nice. Oh, I like my new sharpener. Well, it works great. I like it. I'm gonna open this. I need scissors. Let's get scissors. Wow, this part of the video is just basically me doing a show and tell. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just showing and telling. Telling and showing. Showing and telling. Wow, look at this. So beautiful. Um, I've been wanting a glass dip pen for quite some time. Well, I've been wanting a lot of art supplies for quite some time. But this one, especially because just so beautiful I wanted a handmade one but it works Thanks. hopefully one day we'll get there we'll get one um but anyways I got this one it wasn't crazy expensive but it was good enough um and it's like a rose color wow it's really Oh, that feels, ooh, I like it already. <gasps> feels good on the hand. Like, look at this. I just feel like, I feel like an artist. Like, you can just like. Looks good. I like it. Wow, that's a lot of air bubbles in there. I don't think glass depends usually have air bubbles. Anyways, it wasn't like one of those expensive one so I don't expect it to be you know the best but it will work it will do what it needs to do and um so the reason why I got this I feel like I have to explain myself all the time wow I really do have to explain myself a lot when I purchase an art supply but uh I want to use this just to sketch with it that's basically my reason for purchasing it Heard great things about these and I also want to do some calligraphy with it as well if possible I don't know I don't really know how to use one of these but I've seen videos so I'm gonna learn anyways there's that I'm excited I always get excited when I have new art supplies and then what else was it oh yeah this since I'm only always using these um uh, double-sided color pencils for sketching and pencils as well I needed a pencil extender this is another um, art purchase art supply purchase that I've been wanting to you grab and I finally got it um, I will say I did not buy this my friend actually bought it for me um, and she also bought me my sketchbook too. Bought this these two items for me, which I really appreciate. Um, so shout out to you, Tanya. Thank you very much. Anyways, but yeah, check them out. Look at that. Pencil extender. Um, and it is very much needed. I guess this is the only thing left to use. So we're gonna check this out together. We're gonna do some sketching. And I know I'm going to do a lot of erasing, so we're going to use this. We're going to see how well this one works, because this is one of the items where I'm just like, will it even work? Will it scratch up my desk? What is it going to do? Anyways, um, yeah, that's it for the show and tell. That's it for all my purchases. I think that's all I have left to say.
We got our couplet markers and we also got the black alcohol markers. And now it's time to erase all of this and this is where I'm hoping, hoping that the little vacuum works. Yeah, if you didn't know, um, there is a way to erase. I guess there is a method to erasing, which is doing little circles, and that gets you the best results. If you're somebody who has a heavy hand and, you know, indents the paper, it sort of leaves all that color on there. So just do little circles, and you'll, you'll probably get all that um, color off of there. And as you can see, there's a lot of eraser shavings from this little tiny eraser. Oh, okay. Put that away because we don't need that anymore. So let's open this. Ta-da! And there are um, various different colors well not various i mean there are two of the colors that you can get there's like a mint and then there's also like um a green blue color well, i guess turquoise color i got the black and white one as you can tell okay this one goes like this this one goes like this Hopefully this works. Okay, it's been on. Oh. Oh. Wow. Ta da! All squeaky clean. Wow, this does work. That's interesting. Ooh, I like this. Wow, what's that? Nope, I was wrong. So here's the thing about this vacuum. It's going to clean the eraser shavings, but it will clean the little tiny specks of eraser shavings, which is what the annoying part is about <laughs> eraser shavings, is that you have these little tiny ones that you really don't see i mean i guess you can kind of see yeah these ones are the much bigger ones but overall you can't see the little tiny ones you can only just feel them that's annoying um so it didn't remove those ones but it removed the larger pieces which is you know it's what i was expecting it to do um so this vacuum I can't vacuum like really tiny things i think it's just probably because of the bristles of how high they are and also the vacuum can't, I guess, it just doesn't have, the vacuum just doesn't have the power to vacuum the little tiny particles. But um, I'm going to try it again. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I did another pass and I can still feel some eraser shavings on here. Um, So that kind of sucks. But overall, I guess it took up the bigger eraser shavings heat which is fine i mean it's a little tiny vacuum so i'm not expecting it to do crazy work you know i'll be able to clean my whole desk just spotless uh but yeah it works and now we're gonna try it with my keyboard okay so it did an okay job as you can see there's a bunch of little nastiness in there um, but I guess that's fine. I could just do that by hand. Um, so yeah, if you're trying to look for a little vacuum to clean your keyboard, this is not it right here. But it does pick up a lot of stuff. So, for your basic necessities, this is the way to go. Um, I think it works for me just because... What I really wanted it to do was to pick up the eraser shavings and the larger ones. That's kind of what I was like. The little eraser 
shavings and the little tiny particles still bother me but not as much as the bigger pieces just because it gets really annoying it gets on my clothes it gets on the ground and it's just it's just a lot of work to having to clean it up all the time and i'm at my desk a lot um sketching and drawing so i do use the eraser often and there's a lot of eraser shavings and if you're an artist you can probably relate to that um but yeah i like it it's cute it's tiny it's the size of the palm of my hand Ta -da! see okay and let's just continue with our sketch okay so we have our colors here put this to the side for the eyes i'm going to just use brown because her eyes are brown uh, but i'm going to be using a darker brown then i'm using this one the sienna and then also um, just this regular dark brown i think that will fit the eyes that one, or am i use this one i'm not sure yet we'll see which one works but first let's start off with the lighter color Y aquí ya estoy haciendo unos estudios de plantas y pues nomás estoy aquí boceteando. Este fue un diferente día de cuando estuve dibujando con marcadores. So here I am just doing some sketches. I was doing studies of cactuses and hopefully I will continue that study uh, maybe next week. Okay, so I'm almost headed off. I'm going to be taking my sketch back today. Today I'm not taking the bus. My sister's actually going to take me to school, so. Nice. I got my jacket.
let me show you guys this. This is the sketchbook that I got a while back, and it just came. It's a handmade sketchbook. It's from Etsy. Wow, look at it. It's so nice. Before we look at this, let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to start a new painting. Ta-da! And the video for this painting will be released on Sunday. And then I also have to finish up this vlog today. So this is the last thing I wanted to show you guys. Sketchbook. Well, this is really nice. I didn't expect it to be this beautiful. Okay, so for this paper, I asked if they could um, add some um, heavier paper, like for watercolor and stuff. So they added that to it, which is this, the white one. So this is the binding. Um, you will open. And then, I don't know if you can use the first page. Usually you can't, okay. Nope, can't use the first page on this one because of the binding style, but that's okay. It won't lay down, obviously, flat by itself, but you, you will be able to use it like this. And then, oh, this is somewhat of an odd page right here. It has the, the rips on the side, like the natural cut instead of rather than this cut. Um, yeah, so there are all sorts of colored paper in here. Green, yellows, oranges, cream. I don't see any blue though. There's no blue. But yeah, it's really nice. And we're gonna test it out some other day. I'll test it out. Ta -da! That's it. The sketchbook will be for on the go as well. There it is, my new sketchbook. This is what the drawing is looking like. Not a lot of stuff going on, uh, but I'm just sketching it out first on some transfer paper and making sure I get the right size. So that's why I put it over the actual paper that I'm gonna use, which is watercolor paper, branches. And then here we have some lovely um, calabaza. And this is what I am having as a snack while I am drawing. And I'll see you guys in the pit.
so class ended early today so i'm just here hanging out in the student lounging area all alone in the dark okay so right now we are on the second floor and today is the last day of the vlog but look at this ofrenda if you guys would like to support this channel or me as an artist you guys can visit the links down below and subscribe if you guys want to or not and that's all for today see you when i see you